YouTube, what's up? Mike, 8 o'clock in the morning. Don't mind the hair, because we don't really like get ready like that, but welcome to the first official. I've probably said it a million times, and I might be the only fitness YouTuber that's never really done a full day of eating. Now, I can't talk that good right now. I have had no caffeine in my system. It's 8.30, I got up about 7. Um, I've been banging out on the laptop for about an hour. Uh, we got another hour or so. And what that looks like for me um, is upkeep with emails, looking at kind of like marketing stuff for the gym, what needs to be pushed, promoted, classes, uh, memberships, etc., cetera, uh, and a lot of clothing. So a lot of communication with uh, the logistics and the timing and just upkeep on what's going on um, with the apparel. So the newest drop will be like November-ish, hopefully is the goal, you know? And again, it's all on me to get that timing right and I'm trying not to mess everything up. But the hair's messed up because it's straight to the laptop. Then a little caffeine, sometimes it's coffee. Today we've got a monster. Nine carb, we're not counting that. So right now I'm in a diet break, but I'm still gonna eat very similar foods I did that when I was cutting. Um, if you guys haven't paid attention, I lost about 60 pounds over the last year or so, year and a half, um, dieting really hard for the last couple months. So right now, uh, I'm in a little bit of a chill phase. I'm gonna eat a lot of the same foods, but maybe replace some of the um, chicken and turkey with a little red meat. Maybe on a weekend I might have a burrito or I'm gonna let a cookie slide or whatever it might be. So I'm not gonna be as toit as I was when I was straight cutting. Cardio is actually up a little bit because I got a little more carbs on me, I got some energy. Um, but generally the training's the same and diet's just a little bit more relaxed. So come along with me. Normally I have coffee, um, but we're getting a little bit late start to the um, non-training day today, rest day, just cardio and abs probably. I'm gonna head to the gym in a bit, check in with the squad. Wednesday's meeting day, so not a lot of uh, super exciting stuff, but I'll let you guys get a little sneak peek on what it looks like behind the scenes at Third Street Barbell. Good company. Stay tuned, like the video, comment below what you guys want to know about diets and training. We'll cover it in upcoming videos. I'm going to go bang out some laptop shit, chug this caffeine, shower once I... Hair still a little messed up, but nothing crazy. Vintage tea, old Barbell Gay sweat shorts, I think some 993s. Kind of in that part of year here in Northern California where shit, it does get really pretty, um, but it's really cold in the morning. It's like, you know, not really cold. I know y'all in fucking East Western Dakotas are gonna get mad, but it's like 40s, 50s, you need a hoodie, but it's gonna be 80 or 90 degrees later. So, you know, I go hoodie on the way into work, on the way to the gym and take it off after. We need to go grocery shopping after we handle some business. So it's meeting day. Typically I have like a content style meeting, um, which is kind of wrapped into marketing. I have a group meeting, so a whole team meeting, which is all gym staff, uh, everybody involved. And then we have kind of a training meeting, which right now is me and Avi, our lead trainer at the gym. And then I'll probably go grocery shopping, which leads me to point number one is we all know diet, right? Diet means the food we're putting in our fucking bodies. And when I talk about cutting, I'm talking about burning fat. I don't care what anyone says. It's about calorie deficit. Say whatever the hell you want. It's simply about burning more calories than we eat in a day. And doing that for a very long period of time while training hard, high intensity, high, high volumes um, relative, we'll maintain our muscle and strength the best we can. Someone asked about how do you maintain strength during a cut and who's calling me? The hell's calling me this early? Stop! Stop calling me. So that's calorie deficits, right? And that's the basics. That's what we're all gonna know. But beyond that, and I think this is the whole, you know, holistic approach to this bow shit, is about habits and strategies. So let's talk about keto and carnivore and intermittent fasting and all these things. I consider those diet strategies, nutritional strategies. And I don't know if this has been talked about in this way, but that's how I see things. So what strategy fits best for how I feel? You know, and that, that matters physically, emotionally, spiritually. I do kind of intermittent fast. I don't eat breakfast, right? It's going on 9.30, 10 o'clock. I might have a protein bar when we get to the gym, but I don't eat breakfast because it slows me down mentally. I like caffeine and I like to feel light in my tum-tum and light in my brain brain. And that's how I schmob through all my, my logistical work, right? And on that holistic approach, that's how I organize my entire day. What work or what things, what activities do I need to do at what time? How do I schedule them to make me feel and perform my best and that doesn't mean how many deadlift reps I do although that matters it means how do I emotionally am, am I the happiest how am I how am I feeling the best and how can I give the most to those around me how can I be in the best mood and the best 
pr productivity with with each business and each step that I take. And so that's how I plan my days. And that's why early morning, seven to nine, even before I started vlogging, I was totally by myself. Totally by myself, in my head, just me and some caffeine, working through the work that I actually don't enjoy. You know, the emails and the counting numbers and the, the talking to people that don't want to do their work and checking up on everybody and everything. I don't enjoy that. I'm not a good boss. I like to think I'm a decent leader, but I'm not a good boss. So I take most of my energy in the beginning of the day to do that. Kind of like how we do our workouts, right? We do the big barbell compound movements first because that takes the most physical and mental energy. And then we go do our calf raises. Or then we go do our biceps and we go do our abs. So that's how I organize my day. Meetings and stuff are kind of middle ground for me because I got to be a boss and I don't love doing that. Um, so that's kind of middle of the day. And then end of the day is the easy stuff for me. Uh, we're going to go grocery shopping. I'm going to do a shopping haul, which again goes to the habits building habits eating the same thing every day finding foods that you enjoy that you can eat every day that fit your you know your your, your cut or your bulk or whatever it is nutritional strategy wise finding what kind of um uh, strategies again the intermittent fasting i don't i don't eat all day uh, i don't eat until like a big meal until two or three then i'll get protein in throughout the day two or three big meals at the end of the day just protein uh, bar in the morning to get a little protein, a little synthesis going to make sure I'm nice and jacked. Oh, I'm gonna try a new recipe. I'll show. I'll cook like one or two meals that I normally do to show y'all how I eat. Real basic, quick, easy, still like high protein, low carb, low fat. Um, and then we're gonna try one new recipe today. Um, I had some protein oat deals, overnight oat deals, at this coffee shop and it straight up changed my life. I've seen them and they sound good, but I never cooked it. And so now we're gonna make our own, probably some you know, berries, a little chocolate chip, protein oats, uh, when we go to the store. I probably won't film in the store, I don't wanna get yelled at, maybe a little bit, but then we'll, we'll do a grocery haul. Let's get it. Not sponsored, probably should be the best protein bar, hands down, ever made by any human ever. I'll eat like a body, was it builder? Climb bar, builder, bar? And I'll eat um, the old school Metrix big ass 1000 bar. But other than that, Bear Bell is the only bar I eat. And this cashew, whatever one's, a bang. Not absolutely the best, but not the worst, right? Eight fat, 20 carb, 20 protein. When I'm dieting, that's pretty high fat actually. Like when I'm dieting, dieting, I'm only getting like 20, 30, 40 grams of fat a day, depending on the carbs. But um, now again, we're not as worried. But the rest of the day, when I'm getting my protein sources, I just try to get things that are super, uh, low fat. That's why we're eating turkey, chicken the rest of the day. All right. All right, dude. Two breakfast foods. One, when you get to go crazy, what's your breakfast? And then one, when you're trying to be like power lifter kid, what's your breakfast? I think both would just be chicken and waffles, bro. Dude, that's not healthy. I chicken don't care, waffles. bro. <laughs> oh, you mean like trying to diet? Yeah, yeah. When you're trying to be, when you're thinking about oh, maybe like, you're maybe living past 40. When you're trying to maybe live past 40, what are you choosing that's not chicken and waffles? Uh, like, chicken and waffles bangs Yeah, up. that's what I'm saying. I'm not, everyone's like, sweet and savory, sweet and savory. That doesn't always work, but chicken and waffles, it hits. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. For a second, for like a cool year, I was doing like protein uh, French toast. Like egg whites and Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. yeah, if you get a little protein nutty bread and you dump it in some egg whites and then you can find like sugar-free or low sugar syrup. Cinnamon on there? Yeah, that could bang. I got a booby pump. Oh, titty pump. Yeah, I got a, I got a tatters. Titty. Yeah, I got a tatter pump. <laughs> Yid yatters, look at them tatters. <laughs> little baby ace. <laughs> Full day of eating? Full day of eating. So Woo! that's the question, dude. Coffee. Coffee cake. What are you just stealing the vlog? So the question is, breakfast. Mm-hmm. What's your go-to if calories don't count? What's the go-to breakfast? You get anything you want under the sun. Like on the go breakfast, like I gotta work. No, this work is out. your miracle birthday <laughs> retirement. You get to just sit and eat anything. Oh, oh my God. Damn, for some reason I'm going towards pancakes. Pancakes, eggs and bacon. Can't go wrong with that. No, that's a hit. No, it's like very, keep it simple. You How do you know? do your eggs? Toast. I was just thinking that. I don't like eggs. I love okay. eggs. I love eggs. I'll eat them. So then what are we eating when it's like um, power, pro power lifter Avi mode? What's a breakfast? Coffee cake? No. Okay. If I'm cutting too, uh, I haven't had this in a while. Uh, oatmeal with honey and eggs. Like you Together? Start, you mix the eggs into the... You don't taste it. Trust me, it's good. Egg whites in there? Mm-hmm. I'm making... Egg whites and like two egg whites and... Well, one egg white, one whole egg. I'm, d I'm doing uh, overnight proats tonight. Mm. For the vlog. Mm. You don't like that? We just for the vlog? Are you faking it? No. Are you Speaking of faking it, I didn't want to lie to y'all. I just ate a cookie. 
<laughs> I didn't vlog it, but I ate it. I ate the cookie. I ate a chewy. It wasn't even yeah. worth it. That's how I know I'm fat. Because that's like a shit cookie. Yeah. It's definitely not worth the cows. What's a chewy co host? Not hostess. Chips Ahoy. Chips Ahoy chewy is trash. But I've talked about it in other vlogs where I just love um, gas stations because they got so many different variety and shit. And then it's mostly because, like, I like a lot of drinks and like snackies and our back office is a mess, but it's kind of like that. So this nitro cold blue, who knows how it ended up there, but I'm stealing it. And then a diet Coke and we're on to meeting number two. Me and Abby just talked about some marketing stuff for her classes and coaching. And then now we're diving into content um, with Seabass and uh, Abby, our assistant to the assistant producer of the YouTube channel. So she'll sit in on the meeting. We'll talk about that. And then the crew rolls in and we'll have another um, big meeting. Egg whites and oatmeal sound disgusting. I do a full grocery haul, just stepped out of the grocery store when I get home, um, but I want to rant on my snacks. One of the biggest things, when I talk about like parameters or nutritional strategies, some of the parameters I set for myself is like two to three veggies a day, two to three fruits a day, and every meal I have when I'm dieting and every thing I eat has to be a meal. So I'm going two to three meals a day, and I'm always trying to focus on veggie and protein. And then the rest, we fit it in. Obviously, I'm tracking macros, but when you build those as the guidelines, it becomes a lot more easier. Now that I'm chilling, now we can snack. You you literally just eat three meals a day and focus on protein. You're probably going to be much closer to your fitness goals than not. Snacking obviously messes things up. Yeah, added calories. You're not thinking. I'm eating on stress. I'm stressed right now. So uh, I did get a snack, but I'm not dieting. So it's a little bit different. This is the new go-to, bro. It's always been a... a a piece of the puzzle, but Tillamook, this thing's insane. One gram of fat, zero grams of carbs, and 14 protein for one ounce of jerky. So jerky's a go-to, and then rice cakes always. These ones are a little crazy. I went a little crazy with these ones. They're like cheddar, you know, it's basically a Dorito and rice cake form. So that's like five fat. Um, although I'm not dieting, I'm not tracking strictly, I'm still paying attention to things, right? I don't want to go crazy because I think we're going to start a strength block right now, and we're going to try to hit a little PR. We're gonna do a series on it. This is just a little teaser, but we're gonna break it down. And then uh, and then cruise through the holidays so I could have some fun, enjoy myself, try not to gain too much weight, just a slow bulk, more, more mental break, and then we're gonna go crazy back to the Shreds life in January. So stay tuned for the strength block, but that's basically how we eat. Now, now that I can relax and I can snack a little bit, I'm still making good choices, right? And same when I go out to eat, I'll indulge a little bit, I'll have dessert here and there. But on the day to day, you can't, you can't let every occasion, every birthday, it's always somebody's birthday. You can't have every birthday, you can't have cake on everybody's fucking birthday, right? So we gotta, we gotta make wise decisions that still go towards our goals, right? We always gotta keep our goals in mind. So I got the jerky, get a little protein in, some of this, and then uh, we'll go home and we'll cook up the first meal of the day. I'm absolutely starving, so I'm trying to whip through this grocery haul. Boom, 100 calorie popcorn, I ate two of these bags. Macros are cake, man, two fat, uh, 22 carb, three protein. A lot of volume for the carbs you get. Basic rolled oats, that's just to make the protein overnight oats. Raspberries, berries taste pretty good. Add them to your yogurt, add them to your protein oats, add them to your oats, eat them by them damn selves. Blackberries and blueberries, more oats, ain't nothing fancy. Fair life milk, for those that don't know, stats are insane. Zero fat, six uh, carb, and 13 protein. I'm gonna drink that when I wanna drink that. I'm also gonna make the oats with it. So you make the overnight oats with a little bit of liquid. So I chose that for my liquid for extra protein. Chobani, this is literally the diet miracle. Chobani, non-fat, no sugar, nothing crazy. Um, for one serving is six carb, 16 protein. It's a protein shake. And everyone talks about like sweet and savory but there's like a third deal and it's sour. It's like a sour, so it's kind of sweet. You throw some berries in here, throw a little apple in there. Sometimes I'll sprinkle some chocolate chips. Spoom, spang, easy cake. Showed you that in the car. Got another one of those to eat on. It's just a cauliflower rice with broccoli mixed in. Um, it's a little overpriced probably for what you get, but I eat this entire bag. The entire bag's 12 carb, six protein. That's it. And it's so voluminous. So that's what I'm gonna have for lunch. This guy plus some elk. Shout out to Kyle. Shout out to Kyle's dad, my roommate, my GM of the Third Street Barbell. His dad uh, caught an elk and gave us some meat. So I got ground elk. I'm gonna cook that up. I'm gonna throw it in here. That's gonna be lunch. We're gonna make the pros. The only other thing I bought that I didn't show you guys were a million different kinds of peanut butter. Cause I don't know which one I want. This is caramel peanut butter or something. <laughs> that's lower fat. 
And then PB2, you guys probably seen, it's like a no fat protein peanut butter. And I'm gonna make a different mixture for each protein oats. So we're gonna start right now. So all you gotta do, do your one cup of oatsies. That's it. I'm doing it over the sink so I don't spill. And also because it's the best place to show you guys. So there's half a cup. Half a cup. And then you're gonna go equal parts liquid. I think I might have got mason jars that are too small. So I'm using that fair life, remember? So you're gonna go fair life, equal parts. So that means one cup is what we're doing for one serving. All I got is a half cup measuring deal, but it'll work. It'll flow, Joe. Now you don't got a funnel, but oh no, we're good. So half a cuppy, half a cuppy. And then you're gonna do 50% of what you're doing with those. We've got a cup of each of those. And I'm gonna go half a cup of yogurt for some of the texture. I don't know what's, if it's all yogurt, if it's just me, but it's really like liquid top. I just pour that shit out. I don't really know what it is. You know where things start to separate? So let me go half a cup of this bad boy, right? I'll probably need a spoon. I'm gonna try to get this in here somehow. Not really sure how. Well, that worked. We're working, we're flowing. Don't, don't, don't judge this, dude. I ain't Emerald, I ain't a chef. And then um, maybe I'll save the peanut butters for when we're partying, you know? When it's done, it's mixed up, and then you create the magic. And maybe I'll show you guys that in a different video, or maybe tonight for dessert, depending on time. Then I literally think you just do one of these bad boys, and you shake her up. That's it, cut. We do a scoop of protein, fam. We got the Greek yogurt in the fair life. That's pretty good, right? Yeah, I think that's full. So because I just got little mason jars, I'm not gonna do anything until it's done. Hopefully it doesn't expand and explode. I might have to do like smaller servings. And then I'll save the peanut butter for when we top it off. But that's it, rinse and repeat. I'm gonna make four of these, throw them in the fridge, and then it's time to cook this juicy boy. Holy, holy nutrition. So I'm gonna cook this, and then mix it in with that. Truth is, it ain't gotta be fancy, it's just gotta be tasty and efficient. And so here we are. We got a little bit of cauliflower rice with some green beans underneath, or green peas? Peas, green peas, not the beans, there's the beans, the, the beans within the peas. And uh, elk on top. That's it, bro. All I hit it with uh, a little bit of lettuce, or whew, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper. Um, and she's ready to go. So overall that meal normally takes me 10, 15 minutes to make. Um, the macros all, honestly are obviously insane depending on the meat you use. I put about a pound and then I use a whole uh, case of that cauliflower rice, which again, which is like 12 carb and six protein, no fat. Um, so you can't really beat it and you're eating like two pounds of food. So for me, I'm very hungry. I love eating food. And so it allows me to eat a big old meal with not crazy macros, or sorry, without crazy calories. Um, it still tastes good. I'm gonna have a diet, uh, Dr. Pepper, and I'm gonna get back on the laptop and chill for a bit. You guys are in the fridge right now. It's kind of a sick view. Look, let's see how this looks. Dude, it's like I'm a YouTuber or something. Um, the, the protein oats are right here, banging out. We probably won't be able to eat them today because they won't be ready till like eight tonight, but I'll eat them tomorrow. And then my next meal will probably be some kind of mixture of all this mess, but there you go. There's a little fridge fucking tour. Sauces, creamers, veggies, fruits, sodies, protein. Pretty basic. I keep it pretty empty. I'm not the guy that says like, oh, you gotta be so into moderation and if you can't have a cookie without, you know, whatever, track your cookie, shut up, bitch. I, uh, I've had troubles with food, man. I've been addicted to food. I've had a not great relationship with food and I know there's certain foods that trigger my appetite. So what do I do? Is I don't keep cookies and ice cream in my house. It's that simple. Cause I'm gonna eat the whole damn thing. I'll eat cookies and ice cream, but it's on a special occasion or I'm gonna go out and get it. I'm gonna make it in a thing. I'll make sure it's delicious. That's where the Oreos are overrated type shit started where I'm not gonna just have Oreos in my house so I just eat Oreos all day. I'm gonna go get like a legitimate baked cookie from a bakery if I'm gonna eat a cookie and enjoy it. Otherwise I'm eating meat and veggies and fruit and stay jacked. I'm gonna go chill. Let's go. Before y'all call me an old man, I normally get to bed at like seven o'clock 
And that's just because my brain runs like crazy. Unless I'm laying in bed, I'm gonna like find a way to work or be like productive. And I'm not saying I'm on that grind set mindset, grind culture shit, but there's something I'm gonna do to like not relax. And so I need to shut my shit down. So I'll go to bed at like seven, seven thirty, eight o'clock, or at least start the nighttime routine. So I get my last meal in at six, and then I'm gonna straight asleep by like nine thirty, ten. Again, I I'm not on that grind set shit. I, I'm for sleep, fam. I'm for you to sleep. 20 hours a day for all I give a shit. But here's our progress. I think I messed up one of these oats and it's supposed to be in there again, four, four hours plus. But this one, um, I don't think I put enough liquid in. Yeah, that's R2D2 uh, toaster, don't trip. But so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dress this guy up. So I got this happening. And again, we're not necessarily dieting. So we're gonna yeet both of those in there. And then, and then this is the chocolate chips I used to throw into my Greek yogurt when I was dieting. I'm going to do a full day of eating on a cut after we hit this strength series. And then you guys will see like what diet life looks like. This is like moderation, you know, go by the feel, intuitive eating life. So I'm going to throw some chocolate. But what I used to do is uh, Greek yogurt, shit ton, a little protein powder, and then just a sprinkle of chocolate chips. One serving of chocolate chips, like four grams of fat. And it'll just make that, um, you know, sugar-free, non-fat frozen yogurt a little bit more uh, enjoyable. But I'm gonna dress this up and see if it looks good or tastes good. And then this will be the last meal of the day. I don't know if that's like it, it, cause I tried it and it tastes a little yogurty. So maybe I put too much yogurt in these guys, but you know how it goes when you are making a new recipe, you slowly adjust. It's the first time me making it. I've eaten it before, but I never made it like this. And I don't know about this. I throw this in the fridge. You guys put your peanut butter in the fridge or you put it in the counter? Yeah, no one said put it in the fridge. So I'm gonna put these back in the counter, um, back in the pantry. And I'm gonna eat this thing, I'm gonna head to bed, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed a little bit of what I eat with some of the fam eats at the gym. Again, that's Kyle, Seabass, and Ivy, my squad. Hopefully we're gonna fit them in vlogs a little bit more. And the strength series is starting soon. So I haven't decided what or who my coach is, but I'm gonna PR on some shit come December. I don't give a fuck. So it's time to get after it. A little diet break, time to beef up a little bit. I wanna stay. You know, relatively lean. I'm going to keep the cardio up, but we're going to get strong. I'm going to eat this thing. I'm going to head to bed. I'll catch you in the next one. Be sure to like this thing. Comment below what you guys want to see. I appreciate you guys' support so much, man. Reviving the channel slowly but surely. And we'll catch you in the next one, man. We over me. Be a part of something bigger than yourself. There is B.co. Salam. I'm out.